Today, I stole my wife's car, brought it to the lake so we can talk about the Adventure of the Purpose two-in-one emergency escape window breakers. A few things I wanna to talk to you about is, one, they're not just for in the event that your vehicle ends up going in the water, but did you know that more people will actually die from car fires and car crashes where they could not escape than those that went in the water? But one of the things I also wanna to touch on is, of the people that I find underwater, in my opinion, I feel as though 50% of them could have escaped if they would have had a window breaker. Because a few things that I have seen with my own eyes over time as we have done this, is I have found people crawling from the front seat to the middle seat, trying to get out as they are holding on, looking for their last breath of air, looking for any way out. And if they would have just had a window breaker, I feel like they could have made their way out. So today, I wanna to break it down to you and talk about several of the mounting options and ways that you can use your window breaker and show you some examples. The first thing you have to know about window breakers is they are not going to work on laminated glass. Now, all your windshields are 100% laminated. It has a piece of glass on both sides with a film in between, and that film is for safety purposes that you don't go flying out the front or deer don't come flying in through your window. Now, in vehicles that are 2017 and newer, some of them will also have laminated front side windows. Now, my wife's vehicle here, as you come into this, let me just grab the, uh, the phone here. This one, you can see, this one is tempered. So this one is easy to break with a window breaker. This one here, while it's a little harder to read, here in fact, we'll just zoom in a little bit on that there, but you can see that that little harder to see is also tempered. The back windows, also tempered. The front window, as you come around to it, as I was mentioning earlier, if you look right on there, you can read that that is laminated. So again, front windows, you will not be able to get out of. So when you are looking to escape from your vehicle, that is the very first thing that you're going to want to identify. The other option you might have available to you as well, if you happen to have a sunroof, most sunroofs, are going to be tempered glass as well, where you can use a window breaker to break out. Before we get into some detailed mounting options, let's jump over the junkyard right now, where we took a bunch of footage showing you exactly how this works in action. Some people say, hey, you can grab the back headrest. Now, imagine the car is either upside down or you just got in a wreck where you're just, you know, you're in the water at this point in time. You're going to go with the myth of grab your headrest and break your, break your way out of here. So first of all, let's just go ahead and put a little timer up here as I am trying to get, oh, the headrest off of here. And I cannot get that headrest off of here. Now the car at this point in time, think about it sinking it's going underwater and i cannot get that out of here let me go across the way to this one and see what i can do to get that out and ah uh, same thing that headrest does not come out some people also say well just grab the visor you can break the visor off and you can use that to break your window well first of all that's plastic i did that and i can't do that to get out so let me take the mirror let me see if i can use the mirror to break my way out of here stuck in there it's not working at this point in time what like 30 seconds 40 seconds or so has gone by I cannot get out of the vehicle so let's say I've got my window visor up here my my window breaker on the visor I just simply grab it I take it I can either take it out of the visor clip I can use it in the visor clip what I'm gonna do put that flat part against the glass just like this one push it breaks and I'm out within seconds now you move the glass now, of course, I'm wearing gloves because I'm doing the testing, but in an emergency, I don't care if I'm going to cut my hand just a little bit, because I'm going to be out of this car within seconds. Now, I put my seatbelt back on just for this demonstration as well, but I want to show you the proper way to get out of your seatbelt. Let's say that your seatbelt is jammed, you need to cut your way out. First of all, what you're going to do is you're going to pull the protective cover off. 
and expose the little razor blade right in there. Now you're not going to take it and just start, you know, ramming it and trying to cut it because this part here is very, you know, it may be jammed, it may not be jammed, but you have too much strength to it. You need tension is what you need. So what you're going to do is you're going to pull up on the bottom of your seatbelt so that way you have tension right here. It's going to be a lot easier to cut. And you're not going to go straight across with it. You're going to take it and just turn it at an angle and kind of cut at an angle through there. So you're going to take it right on through. That's it and you're out using the seatbelt cutter. Now we've mentioned this before, but if by chance you missed it, window breakers do not work on laminated glass, only on tempered glass. So vehicles that are 2017 and newer, some of them for the side windows are laminated. So you wanna check that. But your back ones are normally tempered. But something to keep in mind also is your front windshield, never waste any time and never go for the windshield because it's laminated. You can push it all day long, and you'll end up cracking it, but it's two layers of film, uh, two layers of glass with a film in between, and you're not going to be able to get yourself out of the car as quickly as you will out of a side window. So keep that in mind whenever you get yourself a window breaker. Check out your vehicle, which windows are tempered. Now, the thing about tempered is the back window itself is usually always tempered as well. So as I jump into the car here, I'll bring you right around to the back side here, and you'll see. Same thing, just one push and I'll be able to break right on out. And I can get myself right out of the car. Now, when it comes to picking up window breakers, we do have discounts available when you pick up more than one. So my suggestion, not just because I'm trying to sell you a window breaker, but trying to help you out in case of emergency, as well as your passengers and your loved ones. Pick one up for your keychain. Pick one up for each visor, but also think about those in the back seat they may be jammed in. I mean, how many times have you seen this to where, you know, they barely have any room, but what if you're in a wreck and they can't crawl over the front? They need to get out their own window. So use the zip tie that's available, mount it to the uh, back headrest here. And that way, when they need to get out, and they too can quickly and easily get out of the vehicle while you're worrying about yourself in the front. Now, one concern people have asked about, what about when you have tint on your window? Tint is not a problem. You can see this is a little home job here, but same thing. We'll just take the window breaker. We'll push it right against the window. And while the film, you can see, holds all of the tempered glass together, all you're gonna do at that point, you can just kick that right on out. Now, I also have an underwater clip that I'm going to cut to right now, which was a tempered glass with tint on a Nissan Armada. Now, while the clarity is not that great, it will show you that underwater, I can also break the window that also has tint on it. Here we go. There we go, put it in. You know, this is laminate, not um, tempered. Oh, that actually has a uh, tint on it. So that one has tint. Breaking a car window, whether it's from the inside or the outside, is the exact same process. I want to show you on a back window, tinted just from the outside, because you're not going to be able to see it very well from the inside. Let's just go ahead and break it from the outside. Take it where it says push here, the black part, one push, and you can see that it has broken all of that tempered glass now. So same thing as with the previous window that was on the side, we're gonna have to knock it out because that film is holding it together. So at that point, just take it, push on it, and you can break on in or out of the vehicle. Now, most of your sunroofs are also tempered glass. So it's the exact same. Let's say that for some reason, your vehicle's on its side, you can't get to the other window for whatever reason, but you do have a sunroof, same thing. One push, we're just gonna take it, come bring it right on up. Oh and it breaks it just like any of your other windows. Now, before we jump back over to the car and we show you some detailed mounting options, let's open up one of the packages and show you exactly what's included with every window breaker and accessory kit. First thing is you have to decide what color do you want. Right now, we have eight colors to choose from. By the time you see this video, we might have another color or two. The first thing that comes included in your package is, of course, the two-in-one window breaker. 
it has the pin that will pop out that first of all it says push here as you push it against the window the pin will pop and hit your window make sure that you do not use your finger over that it will cause you to bleed so you can test it on wood you can test it on paper you can test it on on glass whatever you want to test it on this you can use it over 10,000 times is how this new one is designed versus the older one, which may have worked, you know, right around a hundred times. So take it, test as many times as you want. It's going to leave holes. It's going to leave indentations. Do not test it on your finger. You will bleed. Also included is the seatbelt cover. It's right underneath this little translucent blade. And so that can pop on, pop off in the event that you have it on your keys, around your visor, wherever. You can take it and pop it off as you need it. Also included in the packaging now, we do have a user manual for you. Last time we did not in our older version, caused a little bit of confusion. So we have some nice pictures for you now on exactly how to use it and what's included in your package. Now we also live in a world where we have key fobs now and not necessarily keys that go in. So people were saying, well, what if my keys are in the car and what if they get tossed around and now I don't know where my window breaker is in emergency when I need it. So we listened and we said, you know what? One thing we can do to solve that problem is let's create a visor clip. So the way that it works is simply slide your window breaker into the visor clip and we'll go mount it up in just a moment. But that's what that is. That's your visor clip. Within your package, we've also included some zip ties as well as a key ring as well. Now for my own personal truck, I've got my window breaker mounted to my set of keys. But here in the car, we're gonna take the visor clip and you can put this in either direction. It can slide in that way. It comes out that way. You can take it, you can slide it in the other way. Quite versatile in that there's no confusion. Now, I've seen people put it like that. So that's dangling. For me personally, I don't like anything dangling there. So I take it and I'll bring it all the way out put it back through and that way that's tucked up nice and neat. And then you can either put it right on your visor that direction or you can turn it upwards and hide it a little bit more so that way it's hidden to the top. Now in the event of emergency, if you need it, you can take the entire visor clip with the window breaker and use it. One push, it breaks and I'm out within seconds. Or pop it out if you feel like you have a few extra seconds and then put it against your window and break it as we showed you at the junkyard earlier. So here on my wife's car, we're gonna go ahead and mount one on each of the front visors, just like that. Now for the back seat for your passengers, as we were talking about at the junkyard, you'll need to decide, do you wanna put them around the headrest here or maybe around the handle up on top? There is no wrong answer. Whatever your personal preference is, for our vehicle, for our girls that are gonna be in the back or you know, passengers or friends. We'll just go ahead and put that around the back right there. And then just take yourself a little pair of snips and cut the end of it off right there. Put your seat back down and that one is always going to be there for you. For the second one, let's go ahead and mount it up here, right here to the handle. And same thing, we'll just take a little pair of snips, cut off the excess and that one is up there and ready to go at all times. Now in some states and some jurisdictions, they will tell you that you cannot hang anything around the rear view mirror if it's going to obstruct your view. Now really, in doing our research, there's really no real such law as far as you can't hang something around your mirror. It's kind of like one of those little, if the cop needs to pull you over and they see something there, it gives them an excuse to pull you over of, oh, that was obstructing your view. So in the event that you decide that you wanna put it around your mirror, that's really why we included two zip ties because sometimes one is just not long enough. So take your two zip ties, put them together, or if around your handles or where you may need a little more space, just slide that in just barely, snip off the end, and now that's going to give you a much bigger mounting option than you had if you just had one. So I'm gonna go ahead and just finish sliding that on there. We'll slide it up here and around, and then you can finish pulling it tight however you need to. So I'm gonna go right about there, same thing, snip it off, and now that one is there and ready to go. 
let's say it's hanging down a little too much, yeah, this is it tight. Just pull that up a little bit tighter, however you need it. Snip it off. I like the height of that one. Now that you've made it to the end of the video, there's only one thing left for you to do. The link is in the description or jump over to adventureswithpurpose.com where you can purchase a window breaker in whatever color you want. There's discounts available when you purchase two or more, whether it's for your mom, your dad, or that new 16 year old driver that's in your home, you're gonna sleep better at night knowing that they might have a chance of getting out in the event they end up in water, a potential fire, a rollover, an accident. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that you pick them up one. And the last thing I wanna say is just a big thank you. For those of you who purchase these, it helps us get out there on the road to help pay for food, for fuel, for new gear. As we travel the US, helping families and law enforcement for free, as we search for missing persons underwater to give these families answers and to hopefully bring home their lost loved ones. So again, the link is in the description or jump over to adventureswithpurpose.com and pick yourself up a window breaker or two today.